What is up ladies and gentlemen, in this video we're going to talk all about 3D Touch. First of all, what is 3D Touch? Well, 3D Touch basically is a new feature for the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus that lets you press in on the screen. Yes, the screen is pressure sensitive, so when you press in on an app icon on your home screen, you get access to all sorts of contextual shortcuts for that particular app. And these work for a lot of the stock applications that come with your iPhone. As you see here, it works with the Mail app, Safari app, etc. And what really makes this so awesome is that you can go directly into a specific portion of the app directly from the home screen, so it's gonna save you a lot of time. And it also works with third-party applications like this right here, the Twitter app. So I can create a new message, send a new tweet, or do a search by using the 3D Touch on that particular app icon. It works with Shazam so I can listen to music and try to identify that music. I can invoke that directly from the home screen. I can create a new post for Instagram directly from the home screen. I can do all sorts of things with third-party applications and that's really awesome. Now, of course, you can invoke 3D Touch, look at your options and decide which option you wanna select and tap on that option. But you can also do it in one fell swoop, one continuous motion, just like that. Did you catch that? Let me show you again, because this is really powerful. So I just 3D Touch an icon, swipe down to the selection I want and release, all in one motion. That's gonna save you a lot of time. Now, speaking of saving time, 3D Touch brings a new feature called Peak and Pop to the fore. So, I see a message in the mail app, all right? I can peek at that message to see its contents just by pressing lightly like this on the screen and I can see the contents of that message. Say I don't wanna read that, it's no big deal, just release, right? That's super simple. But say I actually want to do something with this. Well, I can just swipe up while I'm peeking and I get a contextual menu that allows me to do different things according to that particular app. I can reply for it, etc. But what if I peek at the message and determine, hey, I wanna read that? Well, I just press in harder, just like that, and I commit, and it opens up the full message just like normal, just like I had navigated there manually. So this is really, really awesome. But it doesn't stop there with the mail app. There's another little hidden feature that's actually pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna peek at this message, and I'm gonna just swipe while I'm peeking, and I can mark as read or unread just like that in one swoop, just like that, super simple. Now I can also delete by swiping to the left. I don't need that, just swipe left, delete. Now peek and pop also work with the Maps app. So say someone sends me a location or an address there, I can actually just press on that address to get a peek in the Maps app and say I already know how to get there, I don't need it. So I just release, don't need it. But say I did need directions to that location, well I could just press more firmly and there it is loaded up in full in the Maps app. And the same premise for peek and pop work with web links. So I can 3D touch on a web link, just like that. And if I wanna read the full thing, press a little harder and it loads up in the full Safari app, just like that. Now 3D touch can also be used with contacts. Anytime you see a contact photo, whether it be in mail or messages, just 3D touch, just like that. And you can quickly access their information Release like that, I can go directly into a, a new message, or I can just leave it on screen and tap each individual section and find out individual details about that contact. That's pretty awesome. Now what about the camera app? When you're taking photos and you wanna preview something you just took, you have to actually load that up in the full interface like this, so it takes you away from the camera. What if you just want a quick preview? Well, you can do that now with 3D Touch, watch this. So I can just quickly preview some of the pictures I took and release and I'm back at my camera. Now what if you wanna disable 3D Touch? Now I know I'm thinking the same thing, like who in the world would wanna do that with such an awesome flagship feature? But you can, if you go into settings, general accessibility, you'll find a 3D Touch section which allows you to toggle the feature off. So now when I try to 3D Touch, I just go in wiggle mode instead. <laughs> But the real reason I wanted to take you here was to show you the sensitivity options. You can choose between light, medium, and firm sensitivity. Now, I personally prefer light because it doesn't take much to invoke a 3D touch, but if you have, or if you're heavy handed, you can use medium, which is the default setting actually, or if you're really heavy handed, you can use firm, which requires a little more exertion on your part to invoke a 3D touch. Now, I've heard some ask, Jeff, how do you get into wiggle mode if 3D Touch is there, how do you edit your app icons on your home screen? Well, just touch lightly like this. Don't press, just touch and hold until you go into wiggle mode. Or you can always just press 
on a folder because 3D Touch doesn't work with folders at all. So you can really press hard if you want to on a folder and go into wiggle mode. Now everyone is gonna love this. Being able to move the cursor using a trackpad mode by 3D touching on the keyboard and then just positioning your cursor to the precise location where you wanna put it. And you don't even have to keep your finger around the keyboard. You can move it anywhere on the screen while you're 3D touching and dragging. That is really just <laughs> a great feature. But you can also highlight text, just position your cursor and then press again. And then you can highlight text just like that. Again, wonderful feature. Brings a smile to my face. Now with 3D Touch, you can evoke the app switcher by pressing on the left side of the screen and dragging just like this. No home button required, folks. Easily activate the app switcher with just a 3D Touch. Now let me show you again. Press, drag, release. Just like that. Now you can also use this gesture to quickly switch between two applications in your app switcher. So just 3D touch, drag from the edge of the screen like that, but drag all the way to the edge and you'll notice you keep switching between the last two apps. So settings, notes, just like that. Now here's another really cool feature here. Pressure sensitive drawing tools when you're sketching in the notes app. So I'm gonna sketch lightly, lightly lightly and then more firm <laughs> you see that that's pretty cool isn't it so folks that is 3d touch on the iphone 6s and 6s plus which one is your favorite feature are there any features you didn't know about is there anything i forgot let me know in the comment section and leave me a thumbs up if you will this is jeff with iDownloadBlog. blog